Hey there everyone and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So in this episode of Review Flakes, we're going to be talking about a brand new horror movie coming from Blumhouse Studio regarding a haunted or possessed teddy bear. You heard that right, a possessed teddy bear. So guys, if you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the movie and streaming news we have going on on this channel. And with that down, we're going to be jumping into this article from comicflicknews.com. So, Imaginary Unleashed, Chauncey the Teddy Bear grows bigger and scarier in the latest trailer. So, Lionsgate and Blumhouse have unveiled the second trailer for Imaginary, showcasing plenty of chilling new scenes, witness Chauncey the Teddy Bear transforming into a terrifying new incarnation. So, just a little small breakdown of this video. We're going to have a read of this article and learn a little bit more about what's going on with this movie. We're going to take a look at that trailer and then we're going to have a little discussion surrounding what we just saw in the trailer as well before we finish off the video. So let's keep going and see if we can learn anything new about what's going on with this possessed teddy bear movie. So, Blumhouse and Lionsgate, known for projects like Five Nights at Freddy's and Megan, Five Nights at Freddy's wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. I have to admit though, the animatronics that they did, the characters were really great. I loved, you know, the pizzeria. Everything was great, but I just think the story was pretty lacking. The kills were pretty lacking. The kills that they did have were pretty good, but it was lacking in my opinion. I hope that they can, you know, build on the positives um, in the sequel though. Megan, Megan was absolutely amazing good film. Guys, if you've not seen Megan, um, like a killer android robot thing, it's definitely worth jumping on if you haven't seen it yet. So, have dropped a fresh full trailer for the latest horror flick, Imaginary. Following a brief teaser in November, uh, this new preview dives deeper into the spine-chilling tale of Chauncey, a seemingly innocent teddy bear with a sinister twist. Yeah, from what I've heard and what I've seen of this movie so far, it looks pretty damn creepy. A little girl befriends a teddy bear, you know, as you do as a kid. We all have that kind of one toy that we used to, you know, hang out with as a kid. And um, having that kind of toy betray you and turning to something sinister and scary and kind of, you know, do bad things around you as a kid is kind of terrifying. And that's the whole kind of premise in which this movie is built on. We'll see that in the trailer in just a minute when we check it out. So in the film, Jessica portrayed by Dewanda Wise, relocates to her childhood abode with her family when her youngest stepdaughter Alice, played by uh, Piper Braun, discovers Jessica's old teddy bear in the basement. She forms a strong bond with the cuddly companion. However, Alice starts conveying, uh, conversing with the bear, sorry. Adults dismiss it as an imaginary friend. Yeah, like I said, when we were kids, we all had that one toy or, you know, that one object or item that we just clung to as a kid. It was like a defense mechanism and uh, made, made us feel comfortable. And then the idea of having that kind of one thing, um, you know, that made you comfortable, kind of betraying you and turning sinister and evil and kind of, you know, all this stuff. And it, it kind of, um, I think it plays on that kind of childhood, um, you know, that expectations, it kind of subverts expectations of safety as a child and then kind of turns it into terror, which is all the more scary, if you guys get what I'm coming from anyway. So, um, yet things take a dark turn when Chauncey begins influencing Alice to engage in self-harm. What? Even that? Wow. Influencing Alice to engage in self-harm. That's really, that's really crazy. I'm hinting at malevolent force at play, possibly of supernatural origins. So, is the bear itself actually possessed? Or, you know, is there like an external thing from the bear? Or is it the actual bear itself? Um, we'll have to try and figure that out. But um, we have the actual poster here for the movie, which is pretty creepy as well. So from the producer of Five Nights at Freddy's and Megan, and um, it looks like we have kind of a cutout of a piece of drawing paper of the bear here. And it's got blood pouring out of its eyes. It's got blood on the scissors. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty, it's a pretty simplistic poster, but it's it, it conveys what it needs to. And it's pretty creepy on the surface. I mean, looking at this, yeah. But it's, um, it's well done. I really like it. I gotta say Blumhouse is one of my favorite studios. You know, they do these unique, fresh, kind of low budget horror movies. They're not afraid to kind of experiment with different new um, kind of fresh IP and ideas that haven't been done before. And they make their movies for almost peanuts. And they go on to make ridiculous amounts of profits because of it. And um, I love the fact that they just experiment with new things that we haven't seen before. And, um, you know, we've seen possession movies before, don't get me wrong, you know, Annabelle and stuff like that, objects and items being possessed. But um, this is kind of cool, a teddy bear possession movie. I mean, 
it's not the most original idea but um you know if they do a fresh unique twist on it something that we haven't seen before then i'm all game for it so the latest trailer showcases an array of unsettling scenes with chauncey morphing into a larger and more menacing presence that sounds pretty creepy. <laughs> is he going to trans... Is he going to morph into a bigger teddy bear, though? Or is he going to morph into, like, a whole kind of demon or a monster or something? Um, so while the concept of a uh, malevolent imagery... Uh, let me say that again. While the concept of a malevolent uh, imaginary friend isn't new to horror, that's exactly what I was just saying, um, imaginary doesn't seem to uh, tread new ground with its premise. Nevertheless, the trailer effectively sets the stage for what promises to be a gripping thriller likely to captivate its target audience. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be original. I mean, like I said, possession movies have been done to death. But if you can do something new, a fresh kind of spin, a unique take, something a little bit different that maybe we haven't seen before, then, you know, people will be on board with it. Um, a movie doesn't have to be an original, you know, concept in order to, you know, make it good. Um, as long as it takes a pre-existing kind of concept for something and then gives it its own kind of fresh, unique DNA, then um, I think people will like it. So check out the new trailer and poster for Imaginary below and share your thoughts in the comment section. Obviously, we already had a look at the poster here, which is pretty creepy. Again, very simplistic, but it conveys what it needs to. And um, we have the trailer here. So this is trailer number two for imaginary so we're going to check out this trailer and then after we're going to have a small little discussion around what we saw in the trailer and see if we can glean any kind of um bits of information about you know the plot the narrative as to where the story is going for this unique kind of teddy bear horror movie this image here looks pretty creepy itself you know you've got the silhouette of this huge monster kind of coming out of the teddy bear i love this kind of iconography it looks really really cool but anyway that's enough of me rambling let's get into the trailer and uh check it out in three two one okay guys i have to talk over for copyright so we got a creepy little bear here man taking like innocent little things and turning them creepy <laughs> what the hell is that yeah this kind of vhs kind of overlay as well so it adds to the creepiness so um yeah i can't wait to see what they do with this oh man i don't know there's just something really creepy about like just taking a toy and possessing it like it's just Blumhouse. Yeah, look at him. Look at him looking all innocent. He's not innocent. It's so creepy. Imaginary friends that turn black phone. That was a great film. So yeah. Oh man, look at him moving around. What the hell was that behind it? Did you see that demon thing? What the hell was that? Every culture has a name. There was a demon it. guy in the doorway. We call them imaginary friends. That looked creepy as hell. He's not imaginary. What the fuck? Just because you what the heck was that? Him, there he is! The, 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 the demon! What the heck? Gone. And they're angry. What the fudge, know. man? What was what? Was that a Bigfoot? It looked like a Yeti. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Where's Chauncey? Where is he? Ted's older, uglier brother. <laughs> okay, so there's like a silhouette. Where is he? I thought that was him then, but it's just a poster. Okay. What the heck? Is that the teddy bear? Is that the actual teddy bear right there? It looks like a yeti. <laughs> I like that. That looks kind of funny. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the hell was that? It's like some zombie girl. Is that the thing that's possessing the teddy bear? Yeah. I mean, that looks interesting. That looks interesting. So yeah, guys. That was the trailer to Imaginary. Very, very interesting to say the least. I don't think it's going to be a Shakespeare kind of production. But um, it's interesting enough to go and watch, I think. It looks kind of ridiculous over the top. We saw a couple of shots of some monsters in there. And um, yeah, it looks kind of crazy. But let's go through. Let's have a look at some of these screen caps that I took from the trailer. So we can get a better indication as to what's going on in the movie. And let's have a little discussion about what we saw. So obviously starting off with this image here, we have the innocent looking Chauncey, the teddy bear. And uh, again, it's kind of like subverting expectations. That kind of childhood toy that um, this little girl obviously clings to. It's like her friend. And, um, you know, something wicked is going on with this teddy bear. It looks like some sort of demon has possessed it. And uh, it's going to ensue all kind of troublesome situations. Let's go on to the next image. So we have this little girl here. She's being interviewed. Or, um, oh, no, this isn't the interview scene. Sorry. This is where she's actually 
you know, she's looking at the teddy bear. The teddy bear's obviously communicating with her. And in the background, this demon looking alien mofo is poking his head around the corner. And this looks creepy as hell. I mean, just look at this thing here, just like stalking this little girl from behind. And wow. Um, Blumhouse has always been very, very good at doing this kind of stuff where they're filming a scene from a certain angle and then they put the demon or the possession or whatever it is, um, alien. It can be whatever whatever it is, the malevolent force in the movie. And they always blur it and put it in the background. They've, you know, they've done it in their other projects and um, it really, really creeps the hell out because the fact that it's blurred, your brain can't quite tell what it is that you're looking at, which makes it all the more scary because your brain fills in that gaps and obviously makes it a lot more scary. So um, I think they do really, really good with their cinematography. So let's go on to the next one. So we have this kind of, I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at here. <laughs> this kind of monstrosity. It's got these kind of, you know, appendages or big arms. It's kind of coming down this narrow hallway in a dimly lit hallway. And uh, just seeing whatever this thing is. I don't even know what I'm looking at, like I said. But it's coming towards you and it looks scary as anything. And um, I, yeah, I don't even know what to say because I'm not even sure what I'm looking at here. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I wouldn't want it in my house, that's for sure. So, um, it looks like we have the... I'm not sure if this is actually Chauncey the Bear himself. Um, it does say in the description to the trailer, Chauncey the Bear grows even bigger. So, this may be what the bear turns into. I'm not really sure at that point. Um, but whatever this is, it looks like a Yeti to me. Like a Bigfoot of some sort. But, um, you can see these huge massive claws... Um, reminds me of Monster Zinc as well. You know, that blue monster dude. Uh, Sully, is it? And um, But obviously a non-blue version. He's got this massive mouthful of teeth. Also, Critters. Guys, if you haven't seen the movie Critters, this looks like one of the giant Critters from the horror Critter movie. It's like an alien hedgehog space movie. I'll put up a side-by-side -side comparison here so you can see what I'm talking about. It looks very similar. But yeah, he's got these huge claws. Um, got the mouthful of teeth. And it looks pretty damn cool, if I do say so. Um, but having this thing in your house... Um, you know, <laughs> bad times are going to ensue for sure. But um, it looks ridiculous. It looks over the top. It looks kind of corny at the same time. But I can't wait to see what they do. Having a showdown with this massive kind of Yeti looking mofo in your house. Um, it's going to be interesting, but kind of ridiculous. So um, and then we finish off at the end of the trailer where she plugs in her nightlight and the little girl. I'm assuming this is the same little girl that we saw from the beginning of the trailer. It looks like now that she's fully possessed. Obviously, she's like in a demonic kind of form here. So whether the, you know, the demon or the teddy bear, whoever doing the possessing, looks like they've kind of captured her. And um, it looks like she's kind of fully possessed here. I'm assuming it's the same girl. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it would make sense if it was. And um, yeah, this looks pretty, pretty freaky. Plenty of jump scares. It's a Blumhouse production, so we don't expect anything less. And then we finish off with this image here again it's the kind of yeti possessed bear sasquatch bigfoot i don't even know what it is that i'm looking at but um it's hard to make out i'll try and um i've tried to illuminate the image a little bit so you guys can see it i do apologize it's a bit of low light but again he's kind of like standing on standing on two feet got these huge claws we can see a mouthful of teeth and he's kind of just chilling out in the corner of the room you know just having fun doing whatever it is that he's doing and um, you wouldn't want to be sharing your bedroom or your house with whatever this yeti looking hedgehog bear thing. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. If it's supposed to be a teddy bear, then uh, yeah, it could potentially be that teddy bear. But um, I don't really know at this point. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's go back to the article. Let's finish off uh, reading that before we finish off the video. But um, yeah, this trailer looks interesting, looks corny, looks a bit over the top. But um, I'm there for it. Blumhouse, you know, they, all be, they always make funny, you know, fresh, unique kind of horror movies. So, uh, you know, take my money. I'm there for it. So landing back over here on the article um, from Blumhouse, the genre defining masterminds behind Five Nights at Freddy's and Megan comes an original horror that taps into the innocence of imaginary friends and begs the question, are they really figments of childhood imagination or is something more terrifying lying just beneath? So yeah, Imagination, obviously the name of the movie is going to be the main major plot point. You know, she um, has imaginary friends and, you know, there's going to be a lot of kind of playing around with that concept and uh, demonic possession in shoes to some degree. So uh, sounds pretty cool. When Jessica DeWanda Wise uh, moves back into her childhood home with her family, 
Her younger stepdaughter Alice uh, Piper Braun develops an eerie attachment to a stuffed bear named Chauncey. Uh, she finds in the basement. Alice starts playing games with Chauncey to begin uh, that begin playful and become increasingly sinister. As Alice's behavior becomes more and more concerning, Jessica intervenes only to realize Chauncey is much more than a stuffed toy bear she believed him to be. So, imaginary directed by Jeff Wadlow and co-written by uh, Greg Erb and Jason Orman Landsters. <laughs> I'm not sure if I butchered that or not. I'm just going to call him Jason. Um, is the latest project from the filmmaker known for his work on 2018's horror hit Truth or Death. There's a lot of people that really enjoyed that movie. So, um, you know, that always goes well to, you know, adding to this movie. Um, the cast features Tom Payne, Tegan Burns, Veronica Falcon and Betty Buckley. I have to say, I don't really know any of those cast members. Maybe you guys do. Um, set to premiere next month, Imaginary promises to deliver um, a thrilling cinematic experience. So yeah, guys, there we are. Um, Imaginary 2024. So we have a horror movie from Blumhouse about a possessed teddy bear. Um, it looks like he turns into some sort of monstrosity and, um, you know, kind of chaos ensues. And uh, the typical sort of Blumhouse, you know, low budget horror movie. I love what they do with these kind of cheap, inventive kind of horror um, things. And um, I think it's really, really fun. I think it looks cool. Um, it looks like a good couple of hours to go and watch something, you know, a cheap horror movie. But guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this movie, Imaginary. Is this something that piques your interest? What do you think of the trailer? Does it look creepy? Does it look too cheesy? I would love to know everything that you think about this project. So guys... I can't wait to read all of your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this with me, guys. I always appreciate you being here, and I will see you soon.